Hello guys, welcome back to another lesson. And in this lesson, we're going to see how to install Curator on a virtual machine and configure it for a first time run. And I'm gonna jump right in. I'm using a VMware workstation. You can use any other virtualization program that you prefer. I just found this one to be most comfortable for me. So let's go ahead and create a new virtual machine. And it's important to note that we need to mark that you will install the operating system later because we don't want the automated installer to kick in. So mark the box, let's press next to next. You can name it whatever you want. Hit next, I usually give it two by four. Uh, I recommend giving it as much as you can because it's a heavy appliance. Uh, I give it 16 gigabytes of RAM. You could probably give it eight. I recommend at least 16. Select bridge networking, next, next, next. Now the disks, the disk requir requirement is pretty heavy. IBM recommends at least 250 gigabytes. I give it 300. Um, you can play around with the number, but I don't recommend giving it below 200 gigabytes for all of the logs you're gonna be ingesting as well. So let's hit next, next, finish. And now when the virtual machine is created, we can select the ISO file which I'm gonna provide a download a download uh, link for so you can follow along and install it as well. So let's go ahead and power on the virtual machine. I just wanna point out that uh, I will be pausing the video uh, throughout because I don't wanna make you sit throughout the entire installation process, which is quite lengthy. So let's go ahead and select the first option and it's gonna install, reboot, install some more so I'm gonna pause the video here and continue where uh, once it uh, finishes. So I'll see you guys soon. Okay, guys, welcome back. Just want to quickly point out that once the installation finishes, you're going to see this screen and we're gonna select the factory install, which is the first option, press enter, and it's gonna do some more installation. So I'm gonna pause here again and continue once it finishes. All right, guys, welcome back. Another quick info here. Uh, once that step finishes, we're going to go ahead and select the uh, first option here, which is normal system and Red Hat Enterprise Linux server, which is the first system, uh, option again. Yeah, we might need to wait a few moments here. So I'm gonna pause the video again and resume once that's done. Okay guys, welcome back. So after the uh, second round of installations is finished, we basically are going to be presented with this screen. So we'll just go ahead and type in root and it will move us forward to the license. So you can just scroll down with a space bar. You can type in yes. Okay, so in this screen, we're going to be selecting the second option, which is a software install. So go down with your arrow keys, hit space, and then tab, and then enter. And in here, we're going to be selecting the all-in-one console. So tab, enter, uh, normal mode, so tab, enter. Uh, you can change your time settings here. You know, for me, it doesn't really matter, so I'm just gonna uh, leave it like this. Time zone, I can choose GMT, hit next. Uh, so I'm gonna choose IPv4, select your interface. Okay, so the host name, it, it, it gotta be a FQDN address, All right? So I'm just gonna do a curator.lab IP address, make sure it's in your local network, uh, reachable from your host. Let's type in whatever here uh, from a network mask 255.255.255.0. Uh, in here, type in the IP of your router. Same for this one. And that should be good to go. Hit enter again. So it's gonna do some more validation settings. Uh, so I'm gonna pause here again and resume once it's done. Okay, guys, welcome back. It's been rather quick. So just type in your new admin password. It can be whatever you want. Hit 
next. Oh, less than five characters. Okay. And your new root password. Let it run for a second. Right, so I'm just going to be on the safer side and take another pause here. Okay, guys, welcome back. And as we can see, our installation has successfully finished. So what we can do now is basically go to a browser and use our uh, HTTP curator IP, which in my case is uh, 64. Got to do HTTPS, and there we go. And as you can see, we have access to our uh, interface. You can use your credentials that you created during the in installation. Uh, I must change my password. It's fine. Okay, accept the user agreement. And we are presented with our curator instance. So uh, in the next lesson, we're going to be learning how to ingest logs from a Windows endpoint and PFSense firewall so that we can start working with uh, the full functionality of curator. So I will see you guys then. Thank you for watching.